Yeah. So boring, great. <laughs> okay, Amanda with Guide for Geek Moms, we're rolling. You can go ahead. Okay, well, I'm Amanda from Guide for Geek Moms, and thank you so much for taking the time out to chat about your new series coming to Netflix, My Dad, the Bounty Hunter. So thank starting you. off, can you like tell my viewers a little about, you know, the series and uh, how you came about the project? Yeah, the uh, series is called My Dad the Bounty Hunter. Um, like a, a quick little um, idea of what it's about. It's about two kids named Lisa and uh, Sean Hendricks. And they think that their dad's just like an ordinary truck driver who's gone all the time. And uh, one weekend, you know, when dad's called away to work, uh, they decide to stow away in his car and they end up finding out that he's actually an intergalactic bounty hunter. And they're stuck with him uh, while he finishes his job uh, to go back home. Wackiness ensues. <laughs> yes. And basically what you wish your parents were doing when if you, <laughs> if you snuck in their car, like yeah. me and my sister tried unsuccessfully to do. Um, <laughs> it's what you wish they did for a job. That's true. I mean, I just get to see free movies with mine, so they're not that impressed. <laughs> That's a pretty cool job. That's actually. a cool it job. Is. It is. Cool. <laughs> it could be worse. So I attended your presentation this morning. Awesome. Watched the show number one and loved it. But I during your presentation and afterwards, I was chatting with my friend Candy, who was also in attendance, and she had mentioned that her son has a tick, which she oh, yeah. really, you know, really she really related to the character oh, Sean. You know, so and you mentioned, you know, that you were you were inspired to add this to the character because your daughter, right, also mm -hmm. has one. So I was wondering, you know, how important was this to include it in there? And have you had a response? Have you told your daughter? And has she like, <laughs> is she, uh, you know, any it, response from your daughter about it? <laughs> it was very so. It was very important to include it. Like in 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 people were very like you know they they wanted to make sure we did it right and they wanted to make sure and for me it was just important because and I think just the awareness is good so people know and yeah. and I also wanted to show kind of like a different type of courage right so like my daughter could watch it and and feel like she could be courageous you know no matter no matter what was going on mm -hmm. and it was amazing too because you know our supervising director Kenji Ono his his kid had to take two so like he was mm -hmm. super invested in the storyline as well so mm -hmm. it, it's just it's an important thing it's like I think the more you can shine a light on some of these things like this is a, it's a normal thing that kids can go through sometimes they lose it sometimes they don't but mm -hmm. by like I think you know we, we're not supposed to like talk about it or not supposed to bring it up when you're in that person's presence but I think we may see themselves it kind of gives them like that extra strength you know what I mean like like mm -hmm. oh and it normalizes it for them so definitely and yeah. and does your daughter know what's included then in she's seen it okay. and it's really interesting because we don't it's very interesting because we don't mention it right okay. and she, she noticed it and she's like why does he have it? he's like he has a tick like what's that like she doesn't realize that she does it herself okay. and we're like oh what do you think of that she's like, yeah. and she's like oh that's cool like she doesn't really think about it Mm -hmm. um so it's very interesting like we didn't I, i'll never tell her i put it in because of, she'll, she's gonna find it anyway out anyway. hopefully she's she like, doesn't watch this <laughs> <laughs> she, she'll find it out you know eventually but yeah. um i think like she's doing really good for herself so i think she'll oh that's it. awesome that's yeah. awesome and, so while and sean was, has such a great oh, arc he has such a great arc. okay it's like it, it's it's great yeah uh i'm like i'm excited to see more i know we just got like the little tease of two episodes and i'm oh. like <laughs> <laughs> excited to see more and you know spe speaking of you know watching the episodes i picked up on one of the episodes that there was a little easter egg in a scene where on the tv they were watching and it was the netflix series maya and the three yeah right yes. so i yes. was wondering why you know what inspired you to include this and can you share any other little easter eggs we might come across <laughs> maybe <laughs> uh we said that for very specific reasons uh right like okay so well you were you were on maya and the three yes. and i was unofficially adopted when we were yes. developing okay. this they were the people that we saw at, physically at the studio and at the in, studio in the before time but beyond that, there's uh, there's that added, but like we actually owe a lot to that team, you know, like Jorge Gutierrez, who, who, who ran the show, he was like one of our biggest advocates, like he was like, at, when I was at the studio, he was letting people know like, 
hey, you know, Epic's got really great ideas. Like, these guys have a really great idea for a show. So they've been really huge advocates for the show. So this is our nod to them and just paying mm-hmm. respect to, like, their mentorship, you know? Jorge helped smuggle us in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> And um, so we talked about, you know, inspiration for characters. You talked about it plenty during the presentation and everything. You know, your sister, you know, Lisa was kind of inspired by your sister. And like we said, you're Sean, your daughter. So I was wondering who, Gor- do I say this right? Glorox? Glorox. Okay, Glorox. <laughs> and the conglomerate fixer was inspired by. <laughs> I mean, you know, Glorox is kind of like a... a almost like a sci-fi stereotype of like the the Klingon, you know, mm-hmm. barbarian monster thing. But I mean, it's definitely like, like Glorlox has just that vibe to me. It's like, it's very, it's like the stuff that I would watch with my dad, like that kind of like loud brash, what the hell are you doing? Get out of here. Like that kind of foghorn, leghorn, like kind of vibe, like mm-hmm. of all bravado and, and emotion. Um, the fixer i mean we wanted him to be like a real what bad what a bad guy would look like in real life you know like where it's like like elon musk yeah right? I mean, like, yeah. yeah yeah where it's like yeah. they it's almost like they don't need to scare you they're that powerful they're gonna mm-hmm. just be in their nice little patagonia thing and, and you know they've got their uh comfortable hiking shoes but it's like yeah that guy owns a place that makes missiles you know like yeah. um yeah kind of kind of grounded villains um house of cards was really good at that i remember oh, I like that like yes. that one that one guy where he's who, the guy who has the birds who's always yes on the phone it's like that was a scary character because he was mm-hmm. so against type mm-hmm. yeah. oh now yeah, i got chills now with, <laughs> thinking of that one <laughs> so the name of it you know this whole bounty hunter theme but the name is you know and which is so popular now right i mean the mandalorian love right everybody's the hot thing but your name is my dad the bounty hunter which is so close to like dog the bounty hunter oh we know (laughs) know. oh yeah that's very purposeful well well, we well we we had to like we were like it's not at all like dog the bounty hunter but just we haven't to me the title says what it is like right my dad the bounty hunter we can't think of anything better than that so no inspiration from the dog none no no not (laughs) not at least for us (laughs) And we also wanted a feel of like, you know, that kind of feeling of like when you have to write a report of what you did over the summer or whatever, like kids. Mm-hmm. And it's like, let me tell you about, you know, my dad, the bounty hunter. Oh, right. It, yeah. And it's kind of like career you know, day. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Got it. Got it. Well, Love thank it. you so much for taking the time out to chat with me. And I loved it. It awesome. comes out January. Got to watch it. My kids, will, my kids are going to love it too. So thank you. Thank oh, that's so awesome. Much. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Take care. Thank you, Amanda.